in the beginning of every year or sometime within the first quarter of every year, smartphone manufacturers release their top in line smartphones. I'm talking about smartphones with great build quality, the best in class performance, insane cameras, and wonderful batteries. Xiaomi was the first smartphone manufacturer to pull a shot at this, and that was at the Mi 11, which is their 2021 premium flagship. It is elder sibling, the Mi 11 Pro, leaked to come around February 2021. So in this video, I'll be giving you my honest take on the Xiaomi Mi 11. And I'll do that in four categories. First, we'll talk about the design. Second, we'll talk about the performance. Third, we'll talk about the cameras. And fourth, we'll talk about the other things. So starting off with the design, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is a premium flagship as I said. It comes with a glass sandwich, a glass in front, an aluminium frame and glass at the back. Now there are two versions of the Xiaomi Mi 11. There is a frosted glass variant and a vegan leather variant. Now the Xiaomi Mi 11 comes with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus which provides better hardness compared to the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 or Corning Gorilla Glass 6. To be honest, the Xiaomi Mi 11 looks super premium. I'm falling in so much love with this vegan leather. It reminds me of the smartphone that was launched last year, the Oppo Find X2 Pro. The golden vegan leather just looks so stunning and premium. I just love it. There is also a special edition with I think the June signature at the back but I prefer the golden leather variant over any other okay the first head glass looks premium but I just so much fall in love with this golden leather variant it looks really stunning so next up we'll talk about performance the Xiaomi Mi 11 is the first smartphone to come out with the Snapdragon 888 and it promises to provide 30% better CPU scores and 25% better GPU performance. Now, the Snapdragon 888 is built on a 5 nanometer node alongside the Apple E14 Bionic and the Kirin 7 9000, which is meant to be super battery efficient compared to the 7 nanometer. So, you should have high frame rates during games and yeah, really great gaming experience in total compared to the Snapdragon 865 devices. Now we'll talk about the cameras. The Xiaomi Mi 11 is equipped with three cameras, a 108 main camera with OIS, a 13 megapixels ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixels macro camera with autofocus. The 108 megapixels main camera should provide three times lossless zoom images because it's actually a very big sensor and has so much megapixel counts and the images from this camera look stunning I would have actually preferred if they went with a 48 megapixel camera I found on the Mi 10 Ultra, the Omnivision OV48C and uh, a dedicated 3x optical zoom yeah, for me I prefer that over the 108 megapixel Camera. Moving up to the battery, the Xiaomi Mi 11 has a 4600 mAh cell and charges 55 watts wired, 50 watts wireless, and 10 watts fast wireless. The 55 watts wired charging should charge the 4600 mAh cell in just under 50 minutes. Other features of the Mi 11 I love is the dual stereo speakers. I just wish the took up their success from the Mi 10 which had one of the best sound speakers in the smartphone industry. The Mi 11 should have really great speakers and it was actually fine tuned by Haman Kardon which, which is really great. Next up is the display. The Xiaomi Mi 11 has one of the best displays in the market. A 2K 10 bit OLED panel with 120 hz refresh rate and a 480 hz touch sampling rates which is just wonderful now you now the advantages of touch sampling rate is it helps the screen to be more sensitive and all this has 3999 RMB which is approximately $610 it's actually a 
great bang for the buck. Actually, this is a Chinese-only device and would should come to the European market sometime within January or February with an increased price due to tax and all those things. But at this price point, the Mi 11 is actually looking up to be one of the best flagship for 2021. So, in conclusion, my take on the Mi 11. First, I so much love that design. The design of the Mi 11 is stunning. The vegan leather is just insane. I so much love the leather variant, the vegan leather over any other, but they all look good. So the Xiaomi 11's design is just wow. Now for the camera, the 108 megapixel camera make shooter with wires should take really great shots. But personally, I would have preferred a made 48 megapixel camera, the three times dedicated optical zoom. We should theoretically should perform better. Now, since the Xiaomi Mi 11 is the first Snapdragon 888 smartphone, it should actually be one of the best. So that's my take on the Mi 11. I would love to get your own take on the Mi 11. So feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And I just can't wait for more reviewers to get their hands on this device. Because right from the day it was launched, I was like, wow, when would they review this device? Because I was eagerly anticipating for the device to be reviewed. Because I just so much fell in love with the device, Maybe especially that vegan leather. It just feels so good on the hand. The Samsung Galaxy S21 series will be launching on January 14, 2021. And I would love to drop some early leaks about the device then. And after the launch, I'll give you my own take on the Samsung Galaxy S21, the S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. So stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the like button and don't forget to click the subscribe button. And toggle on the bell icon to get notified when I drop my next video. It's been Adeco from Revitech and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.